All right, we're gonna make a cylinder for our animal pot. And I've already wedged my clay and you can see there's no air bubbles in there. I cut with a wire tool. So what I'm gonna do first is make a coil. So many people have made coils way back in preschool. You just start by kind of squeezing this into a tube and then make this little snake by rolling. And I'm starting to spread my fingers out as the coil gets longer and I'm moving my hand across that coil as I go. So I want it to be a little bit thicker than my thumb. So about like that, maybe it could be a little bit longer and a little bit thinner. And then what I've got is I've got my slip and I've got my fork to do score. So what I'm gonna do is get a little bit of that slip on there, this is gonna act like glue and I'm going to turn this so that I've got it facing this way. And I've scored, now I've got to add some more of that slip in there. And the idea is you're going to kind of make this little snail shell or cinnamon roll looking thing. So you just start to spin and get this in on itself. All right, and that's looking a little small to me, so what I'm gonna do is roll out this other piece and make a coil. Once again, just rolling, spreading my fingers out. Now I've got something circular that I can work with as the base. Now, what we wanna do is we don't wanna press this all together because then that's gonna stick that to the table. What I'm gonna do is rub my finger across so that I can join these coils together. And then it will become one solid piece that will be the base for my cylinder. Okay, and I'm gonna do the other side now. I, did, I'm, I like to work just towards myself so I'm spinning it as I go. All right, now I've got that here. We're gonna make uh, another coil. So then we just take our base and we're gonna you know, score it and add some slip. Okay, and then I'm gonna put that on here. that this does not pop off. You don't want the bottom of your coil to fall off. All right, so now I've kind of overlapped it there. So if you look, there's two layers of coil there, and then there's only one layer here. So what I'm gonna do is start on the inside. I'm gonna take my finger, kind of dry it off a little bit, and start to bring that down. Now I think it feels a little wet, so I'm going to take this little wooden tool and that kind of acts like a finger. I can pull that clay down to the middle there so it joins. And you won't have to do this on the inside with all of them, but it's good to have a good strong base. Do that here too. So this is kind of the back. You don't want to use something like this. This would carve out pieces. And I'll just join these around so that we have, we don't want that to pull off at any point. And I just continue by rolling out more coils. 
slip and score is going to be especially important as you uh, add things on in the subsequent days because things will be drying out. So you'll have something wrapped in plastic and it'll be drier than the clay you'll be adding on. So anytime you have dry clay and wet clay joined together, you want to make sure that you are using slip and score. As it gets taller, I'm going to keep it in my hand and turn it and go kind of from the side. When you get ready to clean up for the day, you're going to put a plastic bag on it. And it's important that you don't have um, air coming into this bag. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a plastic bag, put your hand inside, you're going to put that bag inside the pot, and then take the rest of the bag. and put it around. There's no air coming in the bottom. And then you take your sticker and you put it on top of the pot. 